Hi everybody, it's Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to see you. I don't wanna waste any time because this is gonna take a little bit of time. But if you watched my last video, no, my video on Friday, um, you would have seen that I did a um, kiss cup and my forks pour, and it really turned out cool. So this time I'm gonna do it again, and at the request of Nate Bright, from Nate Bright Art, he wanted me to put a base down before I poured to see if the paint would flow any different, better, worse, easier, you know, flow through the forks better, whatever, just to try a base coat. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it on a bigger canvas. Um, it is a gallery wrap. Um, I think it's a 24 by 24. Um, let me take my forks off. And I'm gonna lay the forks differently too. It's a 20 by 24. And I gotta find a way, I'm gonna have to tape this baby down. So let me get you down to the canvas and I'll get the canvas covered and we'll get started. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do the kiss cup close to the same, pretty much the same that I did on the last one that I made. But I'm just gonna do the colors different and maybe add some more, take some out, just play with it. Um, I want lighter colors towards the end because I, I want it lighter this time and not that dark look. And I'm going to try something let me get my forks lined up first. I'm only going to put three forks in the center. Okay. But then I'm going to put three forks on the outer and see what kind, what it does this way. <laughs> I always like trying something else. All right, that's pretty close, I think. And Nate said to use a darker color, but I went with this lighter color. He said, don't use white because it may do something um, that I don't want and show up too much. And this is a blend. It's the Amsterdam yellow and creative inspirations titanium white. So it's kind of lightened up a little bit. But anyway, that's how we're going to do it. So Let's start by loading the cup. I want it, I definitely want to do it. I'm going to do my best to show you guys because I flooded the canvas. I'm going to start with, that is metallic pearl white. And I don't know which brand. So that is Amsterdam's deep gold. in the early part. This is Submarine from TLP. This is Sea Glass from TLP. This is Deco Art Emerald. Let's put it on this side. And this is TLP Violet Rain. It's the new one. This is TLP Zeus. It's kind of a gold, golden, this is golden teal. 
Ooh, that'll look pretty against that purple rain. Ooh, that one's getting low. We need to have chemistry lab day. Deco art, deep sapphire. Ooh, this is metallic pearl white. And I'm gonna put a little bit on each side. My base coat. Let's put some of that in there. Garage Posse Shimmering Eggplant. If I have any of it left. Oh man. I'm not sure who or what this is, but it's orange. I don't know. Put some purple on top of it. This is a mixture. It's TLP. It's nightfall and oh, not twilight. Um, yes, twilight. Nightfall and twilight. This is. TLP Shimmer. Let's put a little bit of that in there. To top that off. Boy, that's thick. Alright. This is TL Twilight by itself. So that's what that looks like. I think I'm going to pour this up high so it'll sink. And it didn't, so that's okay. This is Evergreen Shimmer. And I forgot my red color. Oh well. Evergreen Shimmer. And then I'm gonna top these with the yellow base coat to fill them up. this big canvas and I'm gonna need a lot of paint. Okay. All right. Let's see how she turns out. I'm anxious. Oh. I'm just going to straight pour again and tray ring at the end. This is so fun to watch this paint go. And we may have a lighter in the middle this time. I think it was dark in the middle last time because of the black. Let's move that up a little bit and move that up a little bit. And this time I'm going to be smart. I'm going to spin slowly so the forks don't fly off. And I'm going to have to put an extra thing here at my lap because it goes off the table. It's too big for my table. Ho oh, ho! This is going to be cool. The forks Kind of seem like they're stopping the paint. This side is 
where I've got it taped, it's gone down that side a lot faster. Spin it one more time and then I'm going to take the forks off. Because I want to keep that crazy look as much as I can. Okay. I need some way to weigh this side down. Let me put some tape. I don't think the three outer forks have done much, but they haven't hurt it. Okay, see if this helps. I'm putting a little extra tape. Must not have it on there centered. It was hard to center. Because I need to get my bigger my bigger spinner out for these bigger ones. Alright. recommend picking the forks up close to the um, prongs so it keeps your design and you don't mess it up. Oh guys, this is going to be cool. All right, let's see if I can get things moving in all the directions. too much to this side. Come on. I wish I could hold it while it spins. Let me get up underneath and tilt it. So we can get some more of the paint on that side. Oh, I love it so far. Alright, let's tilt it some that way. I usually like to just spin this one, but because of the size of the canvas and me not getting it on there just right, we're gonna have to tilt to get it, get it going. Get the paint all off my arm. All right, here we go. All right, let's go ahead, spin again. I'm glad I chose the yellow. Sorry, Nate, for not going dark, but I like that yellow. And I 
think it kind of pulls the brightness out of. Oh, I like the marks the forks made. That is so cool. All right. This one really showed up as a green painting. It's coming down a little bit. I wonder if I can help it without messing it up. Just give it a little something, something. Yeah. Let's get a little color. Because I don't want to put paint on it. Oh, I like how this is just like little veins coming down. Here we go. All right, the others I'm happy with. So let's spin her one more time. Oh, I really like how this is doing. And I like what I did there. I'm wondering. Bring a little bit from the side. It's kind of, in fluid art, there's always something you can do. Never give up. Never, ever give up. Unless it's just something you teetotally hate, then I understand scraping it. But if it's not anything that you hate, and it just needs some help, then do the help and give it a flare. Oh, this one's going to be hard to clean its bottom. Well, folks, tell me what you think down in the comments. Please, please, please give me that thumbs up. Um, please, please share. I'm still a ways away from, you know, I'm about around 300 I need for subscribers. And I need, I forget how many hours, but it's around 1,000 hours, maybe less. Um, but please share. Help me get some subscribers. I'm at a stall and uh, I need them by March or I have to start all over again on my watch hours and still have to get up to a thousand on my subscribers. But if you're so, if you're new, please subscribe and everybody enjoy this. I hope, I hope. And I will see you at Dry Results. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody.
Here we are for those dry results. She turned out nice. She's got some cool effects going on. You notice all my paintings are a she. But anyway, let me take you up to the corner. Now that's where one of the forks were. And look at those beautiful colors in there. It did gorgeous. The lines in this is unreal. They're just awesome lines. And the gold made some beautiful lines, as well as all the colors. Now here's where another fork is, and look how that did. It's like a snaky river's all going down. It's really neat. But it's just got, it's got some really nice lines in it. Here's another fork. This one's pretty cool, too. See, there's where... That's neat. And then we come down. Look at those pretty colors. They just turned out beautiful. Now, here's where I couldn't get the colors to come together. So, the yellow base... But it's, it's not bad. I could always go back in and hand paint one of these colors or maybe the gold. But I've got another corner that is yellow from another fork. And then here's a fork line going up. That's one of the centers. See, this one, and this one, and this one were the center forks. And then this one, that one up in that corner, and um, I think the other one went off. But look at the lines. It's just so beautiful. And then up in this corner... I think I showed you that corner, but look, just look how pretty it did. You guys, you gotta play with forks, it's fun. It does some crazy things. But anyway, there she is. If you like her, please look down in there in my email address. All my paintings are for sale. And I'd be happy to get them to you. Just let me know what you want. Anyway, everybody take care. Have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Enjoy your friends and family. Love ya. Kisses, Ted, and hugs to everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.